2017 Bugatti Chiron, all the news and info on Bugatti's new 1,479 bhp hypercar. Bugatti is reading its Veyron replacing Chiron for first deliveries soon, as it reveals each car takes six months to build. The 1.9 million pounds Bugatti Chiron, successor to the all-conquering Veyron hypercar released in 2005 has been in the making for a while now, but first customers will be getting their cars soon. Limited to just 500 examples, the Chiron packs 1,479 bhp and in time will attempt to smash the current top speed record for a production car, set at 268 miles per hour by the Veyron Super Sport. We've got all the details and the latest news on the new hypercar right here. The latest word from Bugatti reveals that production is gathering pace at the firm's atelier workshop in Alsace, France. First deliveries of the Chiron are set to take place during the first quarter of 2017 and the firm plans to build 70 examples per year. The Chirons is powered by a new quad-turbo 8.0-liter W16 engine developing 1,479 bhp and 1,600 nm of torque. The engine may share the same format as the Veyron, but Bugatti's boss Wolfgang Duerheimer claims 95% of the engine's components are completely new. Firm details regarding a 0 to 62 miles per hour time are yet to be released, but it could be around as little as 2.5 seconds. London-based luxury car dealer H.R. Owen has been confirmed as the only dealership in the UK where you can order a Chiron. Of the 500 models Bugatti will produce over 200 have already been sold, with 15 of those coming from UK-based customers. Durheimer also confirmed to Auto Express that one customer has ordered six Chirons. On average, Customers spend an additional £250,000 on options when specking their Chiron. Bugatti Chiron Top Speed The Veyron Super Sport holds the current top speed record clocked at 268 miles per hour with its electronic speed limiter deactivated. According to Duerheimer, the Bugatti engineering team knows the Chiron is faster, but not by how much. However, there will have been plenty of computer simulations to give the company confidence about a significant improvement on the record. Sources suggest 288 miles per hour is definitely possible, but whether Bugatti discovers a way to find another 12 miles per hour and be first to that tantalizing 300 miles per hour target remains to be seen. With all this power and performance, the Chiron certainly doesn't score high in the economy stakes. Bugatti has revealed its new hypercar will do 12.5 mpg on a combined cycle, with 516g slash km CO2. The Bugatti Chiron roars on video. The new Chiron makes almost 300 bhp more than its Veyron Super Sport predecessor. The top speed is limited to 261 miles per hour for road use, but the firm states this is by no means the end of the road for the Chiron. The Speedo runs up to 500 kmh, 310 miles per hour. Bugatti has made this monumental speed possible by enlarging each of the four turbos and introducing an innovative new two-stage spooling system. A titanium exhaust also features, as do six enormous catalytic converters. The manufacturer also claims the Chiron uses the highest performance clutch ever fitted to a passenger car. Carbon silicon carbide brakes with eight pistons rain all that power in, as does the air brake that protrudes from the rear haunches. But this isn't just a straight-line weapon, according to Bugatti. The carbon body is based around a new carbon fiber monocoque chassis, which should mean it's considerably lighter. It gets an adaptive suspension system and specially developed tires, and is claimed to be an agile, modern Bugatti with handling that ensures maximum driving pleasure. Although the car has been testing for some time now, the bold mix of curves and straight lines for the exterior is still striking. At the front it gets a sculpted bonnet and low headlights, while round the back, a unique 1.6M long LED light strip features. It's taller and wider than the Veyron, 
with increased space in the cabin. Inside you'll also find luxury features like a high-end sound system, Wi-Fi and 31 leather trim color options. Limited production numbers for the Bugatti Chiron. Only 500 examples of the Chiron will be built, and over 200 of those have already been snapped up by customers. Speaking at the Chiron's 2016 Geneva Motor Show reveal, Bugatti CEO Wolfgang Durheimer told Auto Express, Yes, we have nearly 170 cars allocated for serious purchasers. They have all laid down either 250,000 US dollars or 200,000 euros. Incredibly, one potential super wealthy buyer has paid deposits for no less than six Chirons, and Durheimer added that he was aware of some customers buying used Veyrons to give themselves a better chance of being allocated a Chiron, as the brand will look more favorably on current owners. And given parent company Volkswagen's current financial predicament, with massive fines and compensation bills looming in the wake of Dieselgate, Durheimer said the group had nothing to fear from the Chiron, which is of course a hugely expensive car to develop. This is a profitable project, he stressed. It produces more money than it will cost. Bugatti Chiron build process revealed. According to Bugatti it takes six months to produce and sign off a Crean for customer delivery, and the lengthy process has been revealed. After customer configuration has been submitted, Bugatti assembles the body shell on the on the monocoque and chassis, before transferring it all to the paint shop. It takes about three weeks to paint the panels. The car's enormous powertrain weighing 628 kilograms, is delivered from Volkswagen's engine plant in Salzgitter after undergoing hours of checks on a test bed. Engineers at Bugatti install on the chassis it by hand. The rear of the vehicle is built almost entirely around a huge 8.0-liter quad-turbo W16 engine and the rear end is bonded to the monocoque via 14 large titanium bolts. Engineers also begin to construct the car's front end and equip wiring looms, plus other vitals such as the vehicle's three water pumps. With wheels bolted on and fluids filled the car hits a modified dynamometer. During testing, the Chiron throws out up to 1,200 amps, which is fed back into the grid. After a successful dyno test, the car's complete body is fitted and it undergoes a leak test, after which work can begin on the interior. It takes three days for a team of two people to check over the cabin. A 300 km test drive under protective film takes place before the final paint finish is applied. A two-day period of cosmetic preparation and checks takes place, before final customer handover. Bugatti Chiron Interior and Exterior Options Buyers get 23 paint color choices or 7 carbon finishes to choose from, and each car requires 8 coats of hand-applied paint. The company also offers 31 different leather colors or 8 Alcantara upholsteries, alongside 30 shades for the stitching, 18 different carpets and 11 seat belts, though just about any color can be had on request. Bugatti takes the Chiron to the hottest place on earth. Bugatti has pushing its ultimate hypercar to extremes as part of a rigorous hot weather testing program in Death Valley and across the west of the United States. Engineers took four Koreans to the US this summer to perform endurance tests in the sweltering heat, racking up nearly 22,000 miles behind the wheel in temperatures as high as 51.5 degrees Celsius. The four-week-long excursion saw the Chirons depart from Los Angeles, travel north through California's Central Valley, across to Yosemite National Park, before heading down towards Death Valley one of the hottest places on Earth. Las Vegas, the Sonoran Desert and Monument Valley were all stop-offs on the development trip too. Putting a car through conditions as extreme as ones found in Death Valley is vital if Bugatti is to deliver a hypercar that's the fastest money can buy while being a luxurious tourer.